Uh, with that said, Yampi has looked absolutely incredible. Yeah. And I think him single-handedly almost gets me believing in this Ent squad. Well, so a, ma a good map to do it, Harry, would be train. It would be the pick of Ent. So double AWP potential, especially in that second half. Maybe not so much on the T side, but Yampi, he's full of grenades as well. He's full of ideas. He's going to throw some over towards the connector from the T sport. That's a deep smoke landing in the B side of things. Now, NIP triple IV setup. They're not going to rotate off the back of that one smoke, but maybe they should be reconsidering that because Ents, they're surrounding the B-Halls. Sunny's got a nice little deep Molotov here, and Ents are going to go committing into this B-bomb site. Aaron Ali trying to tap down this player at the back of Connector. Hampus going to reposition. Now, doesn't feel like we've uh, we've seen Hampus at 100% yet, which, you know, understandable. He's pretty much brand new in the roster. I want to see a bit more from him in these games. And in this round, he already gets digged on up. Not the best start for him in the pistol, as he's kind of now relying on the rest of the team to help him close the gap. But Nork, tell you what, he had a phenomenal game yesterday, and he's been looking so damn good. So he picks up a double there. Klopski coming in with a little bit more, and now just Sergey left. He gets shut down. It can be so hard to play those B post plants on this map as well, and, and that ends giving a great example as to why we see so many teams get aggressive when they get the bomb down. They get trapped, right? We have a player in halls. We have three on the site. Uh, two of them are behind Grey Train, and NIP are just able to push from all. All these different levels of height left and right and just basically pinch the ends players in the site so you know typically if you're going to get in a situation like that if you're ends you want to get aggressive but with glocks versus usps that's the reason they stay passive they're hoping to run crossfires and nip well they will run one a little better pistol round going their way and at least the bomb plant for ends will provide some sustenance in the second round some deagles a bit of kevlar as well and <laughs> just a little drop down the ladder for sergey he won't commit Going to head back towards B here. Double setup for NIP, but they've just peeled off. Hampus has lost that information. If he rechecks, he might get one D. But yeah, the timing eluding him right now. Sonny trying to put pressure on that A site on his own right now. And a quick D from him. He knows Rez is in the pop dog as well. That was spotted earlier on. So Sonny has deep map control. And that all that's going to do is peel NIP away from that B bomb site where there's still a player lurking out upper. The kills, though, coming through. And the push aggressively from Hampus. He gets traded. Not even traded. Doesn't get away with a kill. And this is all over the place. Ends deceiving NIP, but Nork will come right back towards B and beat the bomb to it, finding Ariel as this package comes down the ramp. Ooh, Ooh nice little D from your boy, Sergey. Now puts this into a 2v2, and this eagle is lost in for blood. He already had the <laughs> metallic taste, what? but, well, that didn't go his way, did it? Rez with, with like four bullets from an MP9, mops that round up. Who's gonna come on in? Twist is celebrating a hell of a lot for a second round on the board, but there it is. Take what you can get, Harry. They have yet to win a map here in DreamHat Master Spring 2020, so NIP have had quite the rough tumble. Something I will say, right? I think I think a very exciting prospect within this NIP team is if you can have both Nork and Plopski showing up at like that, you know, like playing. Eight, like 100% in the yeah, server. But yesterday, Nork. Yeah, yeah. Yesterday, Nork, and then like a few weeks ago, Plopsky. <laughs> just Electro imagine. Plopsky, you mean. Just imagine how good like NID yeah. could be. And that's the thing. No one's doubting the individual talent. Like we know Sweden has so many sick players, and well, you're looking at five of them right now. But it's about you know the pieces of the puzzle and Counter Strike. As we know, is more than just hitting your shots and. Well, sometimes, Harry, is playing your own game as well. That is a key part of it. And what happens, he, ne he needs to... Hang on, to... mate. Sorry. What was the second one? So it's hitting your shot. And playing your own game. Playing your own so game. that's what happens. He's so, these guys okay, okay. Look right. at this rush. He's playing his own game here. And he's hitting his shot. Two for one. He's got to hit a bit more. Oh, no. It's all falling apart for him there. But he does get, still get this two for one trade. And that is a huge advantage now for NIP. He also considering spots... this is the buy round for Ed. He also spots the bomb. Sorry, I, I, I feel like... Um... Cutting you off, Harry. <laughs> no, Take it back, man. Yeah, it's fine, man. You know, we've, we've known each other a couple of months now. And... Quiet. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Twist looking down into the pop dog. And he's going to try and silence Sonny. And he will send him away. Now, this AWP on Alu. Alu has looked pretty sick with the AWP again lately. He's really been popping off. Uh, now we're going to see him moving back to rejoin the rest of the team here outside of B. Rez has already preemptively rotated round, and Hampus is holding close in the site with this MP9. So, 
Let's see if this pans out for Ent. These low HP players, or the low HP player, Singular, gets burnt out by the Molotov, and Hampus is wrapped around. Alu gonna land that shot at the very, very least, but a 1v3 to find and a bomb to get planted, surely there is no way that Alu can make this one doable. Yeah, 15 seconds as well. I've seen my fair share of Alu clutches on train, but uh, none of the B-bomb site, unfortunately, and it's just not gonna work out for him. NIP taking a nice early lead into this game. That's got to feel good on your opponent's mapping as well. I like this play from Pop uh, Popsky pushed upper and beats uh, Ents to the position. That Molotov is unlucko for Sunny. And yeah, Popsky gets a great position, gets pop flashed in by Hampus and, and wreaks havoc there, destroying Ents. NIP 3 0 up. It's a fast out of play for Ents in this round. We were waiting for it and it's finally bestowed upon us. That Molly pushes Sergei into the AWP and Nork was waiting in the wings. We talk about double AWPs, Harry. Well, it's not just Ents who can wield those weapons, it's NIP 2. Nork on the secondary AWP here alongside Twist. Uh, these two are very explosive AWP players. It's really, really nice having a double AWP in this Swedish team. Considering for the longest time, you look at NIP, you look at old, your current digger, old NIP. Woo, nice shot. Um, you know, they, they never they never had that double AWP potential. So, you know, they didn't even, for the longest time, really have a, 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 a technically an AWP, or at least not in a more traditional sense. Well, right now, these digs are working wonders. Yampi with another. He's found himself his weapon of choice, but one by one, the NIP are biting back. They're picking apart these Ts. Alu dropped. Yampi's got to make this happen pretty much on his own. Xerial with the CZ is not going to be good at range versus these rifles. Nork tucked, and he's he's out hung out to dry. He's got to turn around. He does, luckily, but missing the timing to aerial crossing sandwich. He might be able to find Yampi instead. Nice shot. Only aerial left up. Maybe a one-on-one -on -one hit towards the pop dog, but ah, Rez has caught him from T-Con after only a dink on Plopsky. This is a great lead for NIP. I love the setups. They seem to be communicating well. Everyone's knowing what gaps are open and, and where to hold. And even though Ents are hitting some blinders with these pistols, it's not going to fall apart for the Swedes. Not yet, at least. And Rez is still yet to die, so he's having quite the start to this game. This time around with another investment back in, Ent's going to try and set up over towards the A site and nabbing that early kill for Rez in Pop Dog is going to be the uh, thing that maybe kickstarts this play for the finish side. They have pop control, they've got Ariel sneaking on in. Through Olaf, Alu with his AWP posted up in main, going to get the better of Plopski. And Nork holding this down with the AWP isn't given a chance at the trade. Now, Twist, you sneaky man. Oh, oh no. goodness, you're not sneaky at all. You've missed that opportunity. And now Alu, turning back around, knows that he's there. Oh, Twist is trying to run the gauntlet, and he will get away by the looks of things. In the meantime, Nork landing a nice shot onto Ariel, deals with the Olaf man. However, this B site has fallen into the hands of the Finns. Hampus, I think, has realized, but it's all coming too late. The bomb getting planted, and look at Sergei. Look at how deep he is. Hampus needs to be ready, and even if he isn't, Nork can trade. There's the flash. Sergei avoids it, but he can't hit the spray. Jump for Hampus. That is ballsy, and I love it. Sunny and Alu stuck in the post pond with a player on upper they've yet to see. There's the spot for Sunny, but Alu getting tagged back in the halls. He's got to fall off. Sunny finding one, and he can fall back with this Molotov to play the bomb, but they've already tapped it, and he doesn't want to risk running round to upper. He doesn't know if it's a stick, and he has to take the fight. Hampus dropping him. Alu now against the stick. He's missed the shot. Oh, Alu, no, no, not like this. He saves it, but Twist will get the trade, and there's no time for the defuse. Alu, it may have been a whiffed opportunity, but he picks it up at the end of the day. I wonder if there was time for Twist. I, I thought there was. Yeah. I thought there Me definitely too. was. There was a kit. He didn't there have a kit, kit, but there on was. On site, on, on the site, bomb, on and bombs, in front yeah. of it. In, actually, in two places within his immediate vicinity. Uh, you know, I don't know. That's the thing. I don't know. I can't say for sure. And I'm going to uh, trust Twist. I just feel like I've seen the bomb timer ticking down so much in these last few months. Here, yeah. Right. I feel like, you know, I can mentally pitch it when there is an. Is I don't know, man. I mean, he wasn't exactly on the side. No, right? so no. He still so had maybe, like, seconds. yeah, maybe that's yeah, the worry, exactly, right? Like, if I run exactly. in, I miss it by a millisecond, and then he I. He saves the orb. Yeah. The he gets to hold on to that big green gun that we know and we love. Amp is going to be down here towards ramp, and he does have Nork at this side of the map with him. And oh. going to try and hit B quickly. And Hampus only good for one of ramp. Now, Nork close within the site with this AWP. No option to fall on Ooh. out, and it's only the tag to Sergey. They have him trapped, and this bomb's getting planted, tempting Nork further afield and into this site. Another kill. Oh, not quite the third. Sergey does get that trade. 
Now trying to hold down the site. He just tagged for 50 damage with the AWP earlier on, but that bit of damage hasn't deterred him from going aggressive. Maybe it should have. Sunny left in the 1v2, Ooh, taking baby. a fight in the connector. And now just playing for this bomb. Plopsky dropping that smoke. It's actually concealed his vision. Sunny creeping on in. Oh, this is a messy little round at NIP. There's just not enough time for them. Sonny's won it on the back of playing around this smoke that Plopsky dropped. And so while Plopsky will get away with the AWP, there's a second round on the board for end. Yeah, it's nice to see Sonny have some form right now, right? Like, you know, we, we saw him yesterday um, playing against NI, uh, sorry, Vitality rather, and he was just absent from that series, it felt. I mean, how well was talking on the desk? You're saying that, you know, like, think about think about Sonny before he joined this team, but think about Mouseport Sonny and how good he he was playing. And then he joins Ents, and, you know, everyone's waiting, everyone's waiting, Ents, they need more time. That's a classic line. Um, but yeah, he, he he just really hasn't you know shown what he showed us prior to joining this team. He's not stepped up to the level that we know he can achieve. Uh, in that series, he went 17 and 38, bottom of the server in a 2-0 loss. They, of course, only got 15 rounds in that best of three series. So that's kind of a, kind of a sad story. But, but Sunny, he showed up here. He's top of the board right now. He's looking good. Clutches that out on the B-bomb site. And that's what we want to see. We want to see God Sunny that we know. Quick pause here before we get back into the action. Saved Orp is all NIP can muster in this round. And Ents are already setting a bit of a precedent towards his B-bomb site, right? Just popping down ramp round after round. Makes a lot of sense in the last one. They don't have the Orp. The utility is a miss. The best call is just to go for a quick B. Smoke down the ramp flash yourself in. We've been seeing players throw that deep con smoke from T-Spawn. You could throw the same one from uh, B-Halls. You could throw it from above Pop Dog. So plenty of options here for Ents to, to continue to throw that fake smoke even and try and take the outer yard. Yet to see any Ivy control as well for Ents. There's loads left in their back pocket that they haven't exploited here. We're seven rounds into the game and IP are broken and this is where Ents can start to push the boundaries. There's only this AWP on Plopsky to worry about. And he has a chance there to take a man down, but isn't able to find the shot. Now, hidden close, you'll see the X-ray. A man going by the name of Alu. Alu's being very, very patient. Just about hidden from this AWP on Plopsky as he goes back. Oh, the timing on that, man. Plopsky has just looked away from Alu's position. Look, Alu is now creeping into Olaf. Plopsky will get one, and there's a second. So uh -oh. he does catch the timing the second time around. Ents running into this AWP, the only weapon for NIP in this round. Plopsky had to deliver a lot. But already two to his name. There's a chance we can see him continue on this tear. However, he's lost his teammates inside the site, fallen back into a much more passive lie down here. Bomb has been planted. He's now looking for any way back into this round. Now, maybe a kill gets given over to him by this player on the bomb train, and it will. Plopsky with three now. Ooh, is almost ready for Sunny. You can feel it coming, but Sunny does locate him and deals with the threat. Now, Nork. We need a hero. Could be this guy. <gasps> no, nope, but heroes don't do that. So, sadly, <laughs> the best he can hope for is to hold on to the AWP. Run for the hills. Ultimately, not that bad for an IP again. This is the, what, the third round in a row now that they've saved the same AWP forward. So, it has literally been in play from the first time NIP had it, and it's still seeing usage today. That is inspirational. Yeah. Recycle, folks. <laughs> You gotta, you gotta save money to make money. That's not the saying, but I'm gonna use it. Yeah, I, if Plopsky yeah, hung I think around. That's like the main argument yeah. for recycling, right? Yeah. Um, it, it, you know, Plopsky, if he hung around there on Ivy after he got that pick, he could have got a lot more value. Obviously, you know, he gets three kills in the round. He does everything he needs to, but could have stopped the bomb there. But Ents, they only went for a solo peek. He never saw the bomb, and so he rotates off just one pick. Oh, nice start from Rez. He finds Alu, sat in the same position he was in the previous round, this time with the AWP, but no longer, as the quick kill from Rez will find an advantage for NIP. Nade in the pop, and Propsky won't stop, but Sergei will make him, as it's not a flashbang. Sergei can see through that, and even though it does a little bit of damage, Sergei's ready to fight. 
Resmoke on pop dogs can neither rush, but Sergei tries to push ahead of it. He gets punished. Ariel backing out off of that kill. Ents want nothing to do with this. Yampi, he secured that all from Alu, and I can only imagine Ents are going to go right back towards B with this play. There's only one man there. It's Hampus. He's at the back and not even playing inside of the site. So Ents, they're in a world where they should be able to get a bomb plant, but the big question for, for NIP is, well, two things. One, does Rez hear anything? If Ents make any steps, Rez and the pop dog is going to know for 100% for sure, right? Because yeah, Ents could be going Ivy. NIP don't know that. So, and Ents have to be absolutely silent going here. And also, will NIP rotate another man over? It doesn't seem like that's going to be the case. Hampus plays deeper to at least put up a kill before the plant comes in. But with a re-smoke, that's really going to stall things out for Ents. They might just have to go through it and hit upper at the same time. 30 seconds left on the clock. And Hampus waiting for the fins. And there's that rotate. We knew it was coming. Also, keep your eye on Rez, Mr. Number One on the minimap. He'll be shooting up through the pop dog any second now as this push comes on in. Hampus and Nork have got to try hold the line at B. And while they're doing a pretty damn stellar job of it, uh, Yampi, he's going to try and hold on to this sword. Sneaky little devil called Rez in the back line, and he will take it away. That round falls apart for the end side. No money left in these bank accounts either. It's just going to have to be an eco here. It's round number nine with NIP having a chance to put another up on the board. Flash on Sunny. Where's this going? Going to be a B play with a flashbang to get them in. And to be fair, it's only Hampus here. So all in all, maybe... They can overwhelm him, and maybe they can at least get a bomb plant out of this round. If you do that on a full Glock round, or what is essentially a full Glock round, you got two Deagles in play, then you're pretty happy with it on the end side. They are going to head out upper, and with no smoke and just this flash, this AWP of Nork could definitely stand to do some damage. He actually collateral legs players Ooh. coming out, but yeah, it's just a mow down, and... I feel like Nork, man, I, I sometimes feel bad for him because I feel like he always finds a way to like do maximum damage but not get the kill. Like the amount of times I've seen him get like these collateral leg shots where he'll just tag two players for eight even kill neither of them is, is unreal. He'll take the damage though, right? Certainly sets up the rifles better. And you know, this is... Yeah. Sorry, I was going to say something that I find hilarious, by the way. It's like, no, right? Sec secondary AWP, he's, he's like donning this AWP. He's looking real good. Sorry, he's donning it over Twist a lot of the time. But now they brought out two of them. Uh, he's 12 and 4. Mm. Twist is 2 and 3. He just hasn't really seen anyone this whole game. Like, you know, save patrol. Yeah, yeah. So I, I can't wait to see what Twist can bring to the table once he feels like he's actually getting to oh. take fight. That little flash combo into pop is great. And it allows Yampi to secure control. For Plopsky as well, he's in a bit of a rough spot. Wait, stop, stop. Everyone hold. Every No one say a word. There's a Krieg in the server. Wow. Now, now these, these Harry, these were uncovered Sorry, by, please. by the bones of the Krieg were uncovered by paleontologists back in Rome uh, in 1954. These are million year old weapons used wow. by indigenous tribes back in, you know, I don't even know, before humanity existed. So we're going to see if this, this old weapon can provide anything. It's a quick tag. Sergei gets legged. Ariel and Yampi dropped as they enter the B-bomb site. And that Krieg, oh dear, it's like using spears. It's like using sticks against weapons. It's not going to work wonders, Sunny on his own in a one on four and it's all falling apart dear oh dear and they may have gone on some excavation they may have figured out some archaeology but frankly maybe they should stick to their guns <laughs> you have your head in your hands harry Oh dear. That was That's nice. the first Krieg I've seen since Yeah, that. yeah, yeah. So yeah. I just, you know, I, I was a little tell, bit excited. Man. I can tell you haven't seen many. <laughs> oh dear. My favorite part is that it was excavated from Rome and like, I think that's what you said, and then used by tribes. And I'm like, yeah, man. Harry, we ain't talking about 1600s. We're talking millions of okay, years okay. ago. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. No, I get it. The, the area that like it. was Rome, but obviously no, did the okay. dinosaurs. I was on the fly, Harry. I said like, a lot of words. It was like called something else. Or, or what we call Rome now, I guess. Either way. Well, Hopefully we won't see any more of those dinosaur know, bones I moving think forward. we could. I think we could. You know, there was Sergei's, a if Sergei's done it once, he might do it again. I'm watching you, Sergei. I am watching you. 
BDI is on my side. 7-3 for NIP. They are holding a considerable lead right now. CT side of map, of course. And we know Finns love comeback, uh, comebacks on train. Harvu, uh, the Finnish esports organization hailing from Finland. They, uh, they put a, out a great tweet recently. Uh, I recommend everyone go watch it. It was about how how many times they they go down like 13-2 on this map and pull CT comebacks. Like it's actually ridiculous. They've done it like six or seven times. Um, so yeah, definitely a, definitely a viable option here for Ents. Even if they get ringed out in this first half, they can certainly pull things back. But right now they're not looking too good. Walking through smokes into rifles. Plopski's waiting. Ariel might push off at the noise, and well, he'll come to regret it. Plopski finds a second. On one by one, Ents are getting picked apart in this round. Sunny and Sergey left up, but not for long. Wow, Ents' map pick not really off to the uh, the storming start they hoped for. And no more Kriegs getting bought on up. Phew. Approaching the latter stages of this first half, and. It's kind of scary. Outside of that little streak the Ents were able to go on, they really haven't fielded much in these last few rounds. It's been very, very one-sided. This double AWP has just been annihilating Ents. Hampus is even feeling very confident. He's got aggressive into these upper halls, and he's looking to take a bite out of this Ents squad. Now, Ariel doesn't want to give him a warm reception over here. Outside of the pop dog. <laughs> That's a great play on words, Harry. Just yeah, gonna draw man. more attention. Thank I know you don't want it, but uh I always think like the best thing when you make a joke is to like let everyone know that you've made a joke yeah. shortly thereafter, right? Ha -ha. Like, <laughs> Did you laugh, guys? <laughs> See the reason why that's funny is his name is Ariel. And like you used to, you you'd put like an aerial on the side behind. of your house to, to, to get a signal. Quit while you're behind, Harry. Yeah, let's uh let's see, man. smoke in the pop dog props he can re-enter at any point if anything you know holding those smokes is favorable to you but uh not when grenades follow them and Ents, well they've got grenades following them and Plopsky, well he'll take a bit of a beating but will relatively oh dear okay forget everything i said double nade friends and they they cycle them as well they don't throw them together they throw them one after the other Plopsky thinks he's safe he re-enters and while Plopsky is not safe He's going to get aggressive though with 20 health. This is a big risk. Rez fighting Pop instead. He takes that kill to Ariel. Yampi's still in T-Con, so got to be careful about that one. Hampus locking down B with the AWP covering as well. Nork's already dropped Sunny, and that's going to send Ents back. Yampi backs up to drop Propsky, getting aggressive. Maybe too much for his own good, but at this point, NIP just wanted the information because 10 seconds left, they know Ents aren't committing, and this is a rough round. If Ents are saving with three, and it was four guns until a minute ago, yeah, I mean, oof. Ah, that is, yeah, that is a really ugly round because essentially you, you like built that round up to try and do your game plan, right? Like you're looking to take pop, you're looking to go made and and it and then it just takes so long and the results is so dire on the back of, you know, like trying to get this map control that, that you just go, yeah, we'll save actually. We'll just do it again in the next round. So yeah, they've hit the do-over button. However, it does come with its repercussions, and that is that for Sunny and Ariel, they don't really have anything. And also into the next round, Aluin, Yampi, and Sergey, they also don't have anything. If they lose this, that is. So. Lost bonus is available on the bare minimum. So if Ents get a bomb plant, everything's yeah. fine. Okay. They don't so get that's... a bomb plant, everything is not fine. Yeah, that's very much what they're hinging on. And their history with getting this bomb down isn't exactly great. Sergey looking to grab some pop control. In fact, the only three rounds Ents have won in this game have all been bomb explosions on that B-bomb site. So worth keeping that in mind. If Ents want to actually have a rifle round following, they probably should just go B here. At least if history you know, tells the truth, and usually those who yeah. don't study it are doomed to repeat it. I do think, though, the, the, the problem with that is, is the way that Hampus has been playing it here and who he's been doubling up in the site with has kind of been changing as this game has gone on. And I think there's a good reason why Ents have been steering away from B. Because uh, it feels like NIP have kind of found a bit of a solution there. We've even seen them getting aggressive. We've seen them looking more confident at this side of the map for the NIP side. So it's back towards A for Ents. As we've said, they're very much hinging on a bomb plant. Be able to buy anyway, but it's going to be lacking. Ooh. And that's the problem. Twist. 
Finding the man down in Ivy. Players getting out from Olaf and they're closing the distance. Oh, Another so missed shot from Twist. What? Not the third time around, however. And Alu. Oh, yeah. nice bounce. Oh, yeah. there it is. Take him down, Alu. That's a nice bit of BM from this man. Nine seconds looking to do any more oh. damage if he can. <laughs> And Alu is, oh, he's just gotten away. They're he's coming. just gotten away, but they're hounding him down. Alu, ah, pinned in the corner. He's still going. And he lives to fight another day. What a warrior. <laughs> Alu. Look at him. Yeah. <laughs> he knows he shouldn't have got away with that. He gets the knife kill. He just goes like full on Viking. Oh, oh twist tries. Twist tries. Twist tries to knife back, man. Yeah. It, it's pretty cool. Respect. And then Alu just runs away. Oh no, Twist is not happy, Harry. Twist, Twist has bought up the happy. auto. He's like, Alu, <laughs> Alu, mate, yeah, all right, you've knifed me. Harry, this is an important game. <laughs> this is for the elimination. This is for going through groups right now. NIP, they may be down 0 and 2 inside of this group, but if they beat Ents, who are 1 and 1, that would put them at the same score. That would come down, I imagine, to head to head and would lead NIP through in this group. And boy, are they showing up. Things look great. At least for the ninjas. Not so much for Ents. A slow start on their map pick. They need five. They need a bare minimum because right now this is the T side of their map pick. They're showing us nothing. They are saving. It's been a, a few minutes since we had an Ents round and they're going to try and find one fast going with flashes towards the A side. No one Let, committing though. Let's just remember that Twist is really upset after that night. Yeah. Like he's bought out the auto sniper and look where he's sitting by the way. <laughs> like if you want to know, right, if you want to know whether or not someone is just disgusted, they'll play a position like this with the auto. Twist sitting Ooh, at the back dear. of Ivy. Spam. Oh no! Oh, goodness, the nades, the spray. Alu and Sergey are both already almost out of this round. And not to mention, this auto sniper hasn't fired a bullet yet. So if you're if you're ends, you don't even know it exists in the map. There's a push from Yampi, but he's only going to get one. Blobsky will get caught looking the wrong oh. way. But guess who's here? Twist and his auto sniper. There is Sunny closing the gap, and at close range, I might even favor Sunny in this one, despite being up against the auto. That said, the smoke down, and Twist just nice. spamming a few shots through it every now and again. It's a scary place to be in the world right now for Ed. Twist has a spot to avenge himself, right? To kill Alu. That's exactly what he's watching for. But this smoke, oh, it fades, <laughs> and Sunny's oh. dead. Alu's above blue, so Twist is watching that same line of sight, and that's all that stands in his round. Twist is Alu. excited. He's yeah, excited he's, he's, he's like, guys, no one kill him. This is mine, yeah. and there it is. Vengeance, oh, it tastes sweet. Knife kill didn't feel so worth it now, huh? <laughs> Auto's out for the boys. Twist, <laughs> putting down three in this round. Oh, dear. He, he didn't move, by the way. All three yeah, of those kills, yeah, he's from just this sitting in the same spot. He's a turret, Harry. He's a sentry. And he's actually going to drop it, which I, I'm, I'm personally against, but I understand why he would, uh, you know, he would not want to run it back-to-back -back rounds. I love it in the last round of the half for any side because you will know the opponents can't pick it up and use it against you moving forward. So, yeah, Twist, he doesn't want to be predictable. He knows Ents might go faster, and so he pulls out the orb. And Ents, well, they've gone faster, so he's going to need this orb. Hampers trading onto Aerial inside of this A-bomb site. He swapped fate, back though. with Nork. Yeah, that bomb's running B and IP have no idea, but there is one man here, Nork, with a single kill. That's more than you can ask for, considering the fact he was mid-rotation. But Sunny has gotten very deep. This is something Ents have struggled to do in these post parts. I love this from Sunny. He's hiding in this smoke. The smoke that NIP threw onto the Molotov to get out through Connector. He's just hidden in it. And has now snuck through to the other side. Alu is even alongside him, and they do deal with Plopsky. It's actually Sergei with oh, him, rather, no, but stick. Twist is in the sight. There's no one in position to actually keep an eye on this. Twist, if he sticks it, he wins this round. No. They can't get close enough in time, surely. Oh, Ooh. up on top. Tell your family, tell your friends, tell your Finns, because Ents, they need your support. Four rounds on the T side of their map pick in NIP. Well, they're bringing the heat here in this series. Inferno's our second, and it might be approaching sooner than we expect if NIP can keep a, uh, keep a streak here coming into the second half. Ents is certainly looking for a pistol round as Sunny buys the kit smoke for that B retake and Ents go four men with the armor. We got Sergei Solo B and NIP hiding in TCOM.
And a double pop dog push here from Ed. Now, this is a little bait and switch that teams try and run. The first Ooh. guy peeks. You get the info that Yampi is here. Now, Alu's going to keep holding the ladder. And and uh -oh. essentially... Oh, wait. They both try and exit. They both try and get out. Oh, dear. They could get found in the open. The Molly just went in. So they're probably pretty happy that they made that decision to get out right. of there. And Alu will deliver in the pistol. The double pop dog pros of Alu and Yampi. They've left it in a 1v4. For a man named Nor. Now, he's shooting at the feet and then finds the head. 1v3 with a Glock in his pocket. He's trying to rock it. Does get spotted, even tagging down Sunny a little bit further. Nor isn't the kind of guy you want to go give fights to. He's a bit of a brawler. Maybe a bit of a baller as well. Closing the gap, trying to get into this site. And oh, oh down no. goes Sunny. Oh, oh dear. Face. You do not want to poke this bear because this bear bites back. Now 1v2. And this bomb down over towards me. Nork looking to do this. 1v2. Crossfire semi set up between Pop and Main. And thankfully, Sergei is there to regain control of the beast. So that round goes the way of end. A sigh of relief as they don't bottle the four on one to, uh, to pick up the pistol. That's got to feel good for Ends. And, and that rotation as well, you mentioned it. That Molly was just about to land in Pop Dog. You know, if, there's a world where that Molly lands, and if NIP have a player above and Ends shoot up the ladder, they're going to get wrecked. Like, either way, but they escape as the Molly lands. They take the fight. And of course, the USPs come out on top. We see how difficult those Glocks can be to maneuver with, even with, even in the pistol the, rounds. The one thing I will say is like that Molotov going into pop, in my eyes, would like if Ents was still in there, they would have probably escaped up the ladder as opposed yeah, to running out. Safe. And there was no one up at B. Yeah. Like, if anything, it would have got them a lot of information that B was clear. Um, I think they knew at that point. Yeah, so... Interesting round. Now, Sergey, he wants to impress us with Ooh. these eco kills. And we'll only be impressed if you get all five. So, yeah, nice try. Three ain't bad, but nice we're going to secure the bomb plant at the very, very least. It's a good round for Nip. On a dollar of investment. And they get quite the victory a kill and a plant. But ends. They're going to be coming in with everything. I would be surprised if they. I wouldn't be surprised on it if they just upgraded here and didn't even want to run the bonus round. But then again, you're going to have confidence in your map pick. Maybe just uh, you know, guess uh, on an M4, three rifles, two SMGs. That's not really going to hold you back as long as you play like the SMGs off spawn and try and get one in pop, something like that. And yeah, okay, they, they buy up the orb. I like that as well. So one upgrade and two SMGs kept here for the side events. So they're going to go inner, go to aerial, con side, and three back towards the ivy, at least initially. NIP, do they want to burst quick? Yeah, it looks like it. Plopsky is down the pop instantly, and he can't see a fight. Playing off the back of this opening kill, but Alu has already shown his orb and is watching towards Plopsky's position, so he won't be re-aggressing. I like this double setup on Ivy. Uh, Sunny's hiding in the smoke. Yampi's first contact. When he shoots, Sunny swings. That's the game plan here. And the flash coming through. Yampi might get blinded, but here's Sunny to help. Oh, dear. Go check it. Nork goes for it. And oh, my Nork. That is excellent. That is pristine. He's looked so good in this game. Doesn't matter what gun he has. He's been looking just like a great pickup overall, right? Like this, I don't know, man. I'm kind of just getting used to Nork dropping like... Like 28 kills every game. It's wild. He's been great. And right there is why we need to give Hampus time, right? Because, like, you know, these guys have played together and, and, and Nork, he was, certainly wasn't like this in his debut opening games for NIP. But but as he's become more com comfortable and accustomed to the roster, he's certainly coming yeah. to his own and showing what he can get away with. Yeah, I do think it's worth bearing in mind, right? Like, this wasn't a situation where NIP were looking for, like, a huge short-term bolster to their team, right? It's actually planning for the long term. They're thinking ahead. And, like, we're talking, like, really, like, without their speaking about it like they're looking like at least like a year in advance about making this team competitive because they're focusing on you know when uh, when threat is no longer allowed to communicate and having a strong igl presence so yeah realistically like this is a, a real plan for the future from nip yeah at least you know what threat said in that interview the other day all that tells me is is that he he had to help Lekra a lot with the calling that's all that that's all that looks like uh, from the outside you know there's only so much we can know from the the information we're given but it looks like yeah Lekra needed help and of course that's fine right Lekra wasn't an in-game leader he was a, a fragger turned in-game leader so of course you know that's different uh right now nip are slaughtering and they're on three kills in this round and a guaranteed win with a bomb down. Alu is saving and, well, he's doing his best at it, but 
They're actually not going to hunt him. They're not going to look for the orb. Not yet, at least. They want to get the man out of the sight. The jiggle peep the bait for Rez. Oh, dear. Miss shot Malu. They're getting close. They're getting uncomfortably close. Not dead, but it could be a trade. Even with the hops, he can't escape his fate. Plopsky finds another. And NIP up to 12. That's a nice start to their first rifle round. And like, you know, I think this whole Lecro thing is an interesting talking point. I think for him as an individual, I think being entrusted with the IGL role and having some time where he was the IGL and NIP presenting good results, even if it's not something he looks to keep up, I think it's definitely increased his stock as an individual, sure. right? I mean, it's and, 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 trying to and, get him. Yeah, and, and it's definitely, on top of that, I imagine opened his eyes to a lot more that goes on in the server, right? Like having an understanding of what the IGL feels, how you can kind of assist them, what information is helpful, you know, things like that all just kind of contributes to making him an even more well-rounded individual. So I can't wait to see what the future holds in store for Lecro. Sure. Now, let's focus on the NIP uh -oh. and the server. Sergey oh. tries to go aggressive with Rez. He's going to come to regret that. There's only these few rifles left standing, and Yampi's going to put his to stellar use down at Ivy. He puts this in a three-on-three, -three, but does get traded. There's another kill from one of these M4s. This time it's Ariel ringing out down in the pop dog. Still holding on for this B-Rap, but being very, very low, he gets dropped, and it's all left on to Nork in a 1v3 up against a partial investment from Ents. I mean, that's it. It was like a full buy, but they only had, you know, a couple yeah. of rifles in it. Sergei gets hit by the flashbang, getting aggressively, and that, that not only stops him, but makes audio. Uh, Valve put out a little patch recently, uh, the other day, and it claims, obviously, it has a bug in it, which I'm sure you Yeah, I've seen but, but, but aside from the bug... Um, aside from the aside bug. Aside from the bug, you know... The bug isn't great. Yeah, the so bug isn't great. Wait, forget, the... forget beta test. Just quickly, because it's rife around. They've hopefully put a stop somewhat to grenade slowing you down and it, you know, while they hit you physically. But it does still make noise. And so Sergei, that gives away his position. The player above B is able to hold and take him down. Yeah, the bug that we're referencing is that sometimes the nades will hit you 15 to 16 times, yeah. do 15 damage. So, you know, like Valve, they've kind of given with one hand and they've taken with the other. It's classic coder's life, right? You know, you, you, yeah, you try and one fix line it. You and try everything and fix, You try and make everything better and then it's like, oh, the problem is now worse. This I, is I mean, we <laughs> fixed a small problem, but we created an even bigger one. Uh, that's a shame, but hopefully it will get sorted soon. Sergei's right got now, a big problem. To sort this piece oh. fight. And Sergei, he's doing it with a bit of a fight. Two kills and the bomb dropped down the ramp. He's ready for that re-peak of res. And well, Nork, Twist, they're abandoning this one. They say, you want the bomb, you can have it. We're going to go elsewhere. Now, it is too early in the round for NIP to guarantee a save, so they should still be focusing on taking some players out in this round. Nork is looking for that on the A side, but two players still hang around because despite having the bomb, they know that NIP could and should be anywhere. Anywhere but B, because Sergei's pushed up and cleared the ramp. So Yampi, he's going to consider things. He's going to go check out what T-Con has to offer. And if he does, the Shadow Advantage should get that kill to Nork. Ooh. -hoo. There it is. Twist didn't care at the Minimark. He got, went to Eastbourne, just saved, went, yeah, you know, you can hunt if you want. I'm all right. I want this orb. It's actually, funnily enough, the same orb from, uh, from round three in the first half, Harry. They just kept it going. All game, even in the pistol. We didn't see it, but it was there in spawn, waiting. And that's where NIP are right now. 12-8 up, feeling pretty good. But Ents have recovered with another rifle round their way. Two in a row, and the money's starting to build, friends. So this is where we know they can pull a comeback, and NIP need to have their wits about them. They are not out of the woods yet. With that save, they've full invested around it. They want to try and get the money on the same page. They're bringing quite a lot with them into this round. And looking like they want to try and attempt this B site again. Now, Sergei, he dealt them a pretty nasty hand last round here at holding down B. This time he finds himself getting up into heaven on the ladder. Holding this from the upper uh -oh. position. Alu, they're getting out through ramp, and he will readjust in time to find one. They deal with Sergey right away, and so this B site, the plant, will come in at a bare minimum here for NIP. 
They're in a bit of an awkward spot. And oh, Malu can see the legs. Hampus does still get the bomb planted. It's a bit of damage, and that's going to help out in the long run. Sunny quick in this round, sprinting into the site, trying to shut these players down. Hampus not normally an AWPer, and he's going to have it stripped away from him. Rez left up in the clutch. 1v2 required, and he gets shut down. Ends. A ninth round on the board as they are closing the distance in this map. They're getting it closer. Yeah, unfortunate for Rez there. That smoke lands on the bomb before he even, you know, gets the chance to peek. He has a Molotov, he has it available, pretty standard position, but he hears it and he goes, oh, well, I have to take the fight. They've already tapped it. There's no way to know. So when I P have enough money to buy here, but I want to see a partial with a hero AK, and that's what we're going to get. Plopsky donning it. He had 5k at the beginning of this round. The rest of the gang partially investing. And this is great because you can let Plopsky kind of pressure and try and get you these kills. And then any rifle that's dropped that finds its way into these armored players' hands is very, very effective. Yampi going to be donning this secondary orc down here towards Ivy, but Rez is so fast. He just sprints in with the Tech 9. Only win with a response. The kills are going back and forth. And now Plopski and Nork left up in this two on three. Alu is re-wrapped in towards CT. And as Ooh. he tries to peek to get that trade kill from Plopski dealing with Ariel, he gets shut down by this AWP on Nork. This, uh, this partial investment with a hero AK might just work for NIP. The AK is delivered in spades. Nork's gotten himself one and it all falls onto Sergei again. Site rotator. He spotted that the bomb is over at main. So he knows that these two fellas in Ivy have to come and retrieve that package. They're not able to trade that kill. And so Sergey now in the 1v1 oh. deals with Plopsky as well. And while it's close for NIP, they don't get it over the line. Great round for Sergey, but I want to talk about how, how NIP basically bait Yampi into his own death there. They throw that Molotov from Tcon that lands, um, you know, here around the corner, as you can see. And and what that does, Yampi, he spots one on Ivy, but then he sees a Molly. And in his head, he thinks, oh, they're throwing that Molly so they can run up Olaf as fast as they can. No one was running up Olaf. Yampi goes for the check. And that's when NIP speed up Ivy and shoot him in the back because he's looking the wrong way. That's a good way of deceiving your opponent, giving them the information that, that they think they have. But, uh, well, it's, it's, all a, it's all a ruse, it's all a game. And NIP, they will lose the round, meaning Ents are up to double digits and, well, building upon that very point. Rez getting picked up, and this CT comeback that we prophesized, Harry, it is here, it is materializing. Ents, a couple of kills away from an 11th for Plopsky. He just won't give up, man. One point of health, he's on his second. Twist can drop the orb, and he has. Sergey in a one-on-two again. He's got to do it once more here for his side, and they don't know he's out inside the site. Oh, Twist trading. And that's a big kill coming through him and Plopsky finding the round and saving the AWP. That's what Twist is best known for in this series, it feels. Great round for, for the Ninjas, considering they were down and out almost in that round, recovering well and dealing with that double B rotation and leaning towards the wrong site for a change. And look what that's done. Yeah, Ugh. this is the downside of all of these rounds, like getting so close. Four in a row friends, and this happens. They've gone for the buy. The orbs in the hands of Alu, MP9 for Sergey, but the rest of the gang are really lacking. Heavy A site lead Ooh, and okay. Yampi. Cool. All right, I mate. Guess. Yeah, sure. All right. <laughs> Ariel's going to try and grab the AK, but Nork is watching. There's a second man here up close in the form of Sunny. Nork, usually a man with like otherworldly game sense. Will he be ready for Sunny up close? Doesn't seem like it, especially uh -oh. not with Yampi drawing the attention in. As has dealt with the only man at B. So NIP, they're just going to fall into this B-side take. Now with Alu on this orb staring down Ivy, he hasn't seen anyone. And they hear the smokes going in towards B. So NIP being very discreet in this sense, know that it's the B play. Rez moving in through upper and he just missed the timing there. I think he saw it. I think he, he got picked it. up by Twist, yeah. Alu and Sunny, two on two with this scavenged AK and the AWP on Alu. Are they able to get back into this retake? This is high risk, high reward. They go for it and they lose. They've got no money up against 14. Popsky left, spotted at ramp, not able to connect that spray. Sunny picks it up and the defuse will come through for Ent. I love that from Ent. They know there's so much time on the clock. They can just sit back and wait. Popsky's going to feel the need to play aggressive. And what Popsky's doing there is trying to find a timing. He's trying to predict Ent getting onto a site and like looking up or looking at the bomb about to tap. He, he's getting there 
in his mind, hopefully a second or two before the tap and trying to catch a player off guard. But, you know, Ents were just holding. They knew that, you know, a two-on-one, that's his best bet to get aggressive, to force a one-on-one. -on -one. And, yeah, it won't happen. Yampi with some disgusting digs, as he often does. And he's back on the AWP alongside Alu. The SG 553 was developed about 1990. It's older than everyone in the game. It's more modern than the modest uh, spear. I don't know if I could agree with these these fake facts, Elliot, but you know, it's fine. You can push your, your propaganda here. We all know where the Krieg really came from. 13, 11 right now. And to making this happen. Another round for NIP, a single round, instantly recovered by Ents. And uh, NIP have had two in this half, and that is it. And now that this double up is being done by Ents, that's just going to make matters worse. NIP, they don't have utility and they have no armor on the orb. This has got to be a B play for NIP. They just don't have anything else to play with. It's going to be Nork trying to sell a fake down Ivy here. Sergei's pushed up a B as a double setup. Ents, they, they have so many more tricks up their sleeves. Setups they haven't even tried yet. And things like these will really catch NIP off guard because even if they kill Sergei or either of these players, why would you expect two players in the same position? You wouldn't. And so that's only going to bode well for Ents here. Nice shot from Nork, man, against the AWP as well. It was a double AWP on Ivy. What a sweaty setup from Ents. Oh, dear. I think both players got spotted in an upper. That's a big problem. Now NIP know, but there's at least a kill coming through. Popsky hangs around. He knows there's a second player in position, and they're going to go for it as well. Popsky wide, and he does find the frag. Twist is on two, but he's still stuck with the AWP. Aerials drop the bomb down on Rap, and they need it back. But Rez getting dropped in the air by Alu. Twist on two with one, looking for a second, and he's got it. NIP, they push it over the line, 14 rounds. That is disgusting. And you can see the look on Alu's face as well. He doesn't feel good. I don't blame him. Twist, that was so quick. That was so key. And after some excellently placed shots by Ents, they are going to lose the round. Damn. Oh, an attack pause for an IP. They, they don't want this to be one of these games where they were in the lead and they get it so far in their advantage only to have and to claw their way back in. That being said, right, NIP, they get out of that round with one alive, so it's not like they're rich, right? You know, two SMGs into a into a rifle round, I say rifle round, and so don't have a single rifle unless you count the scout. Alu. No armor behind it. Pistols and MP9s. Two players trying to throw the same smoke, but Nork will get it down. And NIP are going to run towards B again. Why not? It's worked wonders, but so is Yampi, and he's playing close as well. Oh dear, no flash. He gets away with one, but that is it. Res double ups on, doubles up on the opener, and with that, with that Molotov, that's going to cut the key point of rotation out for Ents. They have to go towards, towards the back tracks. And I mean, I'm not holding out for this if I were Ents. Yeah, with these players so aggressive as well, the round is basically undoable and Ents know it. They are looking like they want to try and retreat out of this one and hold this very limited arsenal into the next round. NIP, I love that, right? They, they call the tag pause. And, and in that, right, they, they probably take some time to just make sure everyone's on the same page, hyper-focused, and, and they don't change the strategy. They go just right back into B, a rinse and repeat. And, and that's great because like it's very, very common on the back of these pack pauses to see teams like really change how they're going to approach the route, right? And so Ents, they go in with like this, not even like a heavy alien, just the standard three players there, two players up close to B, and they get blindsided by the aggression, this decision to just come back in with another B play from the NIP side. Four rounds difference between these two squads and Ents, they've got to begin this four round comeback with a very, very weak investment around these couple of saved armored players. Hampers fast out through main. He's already deep down through Olaf. He's beaten Ents into the A bomb site almost. He is so deep and no one even seems aware of this. No one is even considering it. Hampus, he could end this whole round on the flank, but oh, oh that's a little dear. ugly. Luckily enough, someone deals with Alu. Real. Oh, tries to sneak above Plopski. Doesn't work out. And Plopski with a double opener. This round might be drawing to a close. And with it, this map indeed.